the right thing.
this sort of inventive thing. What if three people ran, and it was evenly divided among three people who didn't have two You see how this... You see how this... You can see how this... You can see how this... You can see how this... And people are just shouting out. And there's a chair for the... We need a ruling on this. We need a ruling on this because it's the bylaws. What is the bylaws? What does the bylaws say? I can't, I can't hear you. Until yeah, I know. This, this guy over here wants to go to the chair and yell. For this the chair, we, we well, here's the technical example. Please read, read it. Please read it. What if the two chairs don't agree on the ruling? They agree. It doesn't even make sense. They agree already. You're not paying attention. Mr. Chair, are you, is somebody saying, oh, is this guy just going to shout all night? Because, and you're not listening. This guy, right. Yeah, I'm not listening to you. You're right, I'm not listening. We're trying to solve a problem. They agree. They solved it. Mitch, Mitch, a point of order, Mitch. So, we, so my point of order is the bylaws don't allow a share chair. Mitch, a point of order. Yes. Could somebody who could see better than I read the bylaws? Read the could you please read what the bylaws says? The bylaws doesn't exclude it either. When was Robert's rules of order? Law is to be interpreted directly. If it doesn't exclude it, it's not excluded. Okay, so that answers that. Attorney. 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 Right. Let's go to our listener comments. Why don't we let listeners comment? For now, they're going to reverse it. Mitch, 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 I'm Ralph Pointer, 45 years activist in New York City, an uncomplaining premium buyer over the years, and I try to echo the voice of Lynn Stewart, who is a deserving voice, a voice that has earned her right to be heard here, and is a voice that is needed tonight. Therefore, I say, eliminate the gag rule. Producers, Volunteers and local station board members have been denied access to the building and the airwaves without even the courtesy of an explanation. This is a blatant violation of their right to due process and respect for those who give their time and energies to making WBAI a viable media outlet. Let us begin. Thank you for your time. Oh. All right, everyone. Look, I uh, understand that Bernard White was banned from WBAI, and I uh, nominate and put forth the idea that he should be invited back. Are you in favor, gentlemen, of uh, acting on this? I mean, you, am I speaking the truth that he was asked to not come back? He's, he's back here, but he's the, he is back at the station. No. Oh well, don't say he's back. He's I back said here. Banned. Not I also <laughs> think we should have called for a, a sabbatical leave for him. He had a a health problem, and he sort of moved away from the microphone, and then he had surgery. And I would like to know about that exactly, so I know he really had it. But the thing is, the way he was dismissed after ten years makes me ill now the next thing is as far as Gary Noll goes I followed him all the time from WBAI then to WNYE which was 91.5 I've listened to him about AIDS 
and I've listened to him about uh, vaccine. People who are now dead. But that doesn't make Dr. Gallo and Dr. Popnik or Popnik and to correct leaders of how research is done. Maybe tomorrow there will be an AIDS. Uh, you are going to hear both of us, yo. Well, okay, yeah, no, I'm sorry. My name is Susan Lee. I'm a former producer at WBAI. I'd like to, I'd like to read the list of people who are no longer. But let me first say that with all due respect to Bernard, Bernard and I had our difficulties. But I never thought that Utrice would have won. And I believe with his present management at WBAI that Utrice won. And we now have WBAI light. Instead of public affairs from 10 to 12, they put in elevator music. The people who are programming, the apologists for this management, and there are many, there are many. They say we needed change. Yes, we needed change. We needed more public affairs. We needed to cover things well. We are not. It's WBAI light. So I want to have a, and I was asked to scab for Luis Reyes Rivera. And then I hear somebody in this management said, what's a scab? And they had to look it up. <laughs> now, I want to read the names of the people who were fired without any due process. We were all treated with no due process. Bill Weinberg. He wasn't fired. Uh, he was treated with no due process. That's true, but he wasn't fired. Okay. He wants the people who were fired first. Let him, let him read. Okay, Luis Reyes Rivera. Yes. How many of you want Luis Reyes Rivera on the radio? Yeah. But not Tony Bates, who thinks he knows how to program, never programmed a goddamn thing in his life, except for destroying WBAI. Maya Schoen and Ralph Schoenman. Yo! 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 They weren't fired either. Treat him with total contempt. Let her read it. They quit. Treat him with total contempt. No! Let her read it. They were not fired. Treat him with total contempt. Mitchell would not. Treat him with total contempt. Hey! Treat him with total contempt. Let her read it. You said it wasn't fine? No, they quit. They quit. Right on. Okay. And apparently it's okay to be treated with total contempt. <laughs> Who says that? Okay. Prairie Miller. I get more time because I have to get through this list. Now, you might not care about the people that are no longer there, but these people do. Prairie Miller. Marianne Miller. Now, what these people have accomplished, congratulations, WBAI Light. You no longer have any economic programs in the greatest economic crisis we have. Doug Henwood said, fuck you, to these people. Let's hear it. Put it to your face. I said, Doug Henwood said, fuck you. I won't scab. There is no longer any economic or financial coverage. I thank this board for supporting this management and for saying change is needed. Well, yeah, change is needed. We need better programming. We do not need WBAI light, and that's what we have. And in terms of money, I raised over $100,000 in the last thing. It's bullshit. They put in elevator music. Music That's cannot no make elevator. money. Music, music. music cannot make money because they can't do compilations. Yeah, They're yeah, illegal. Yeah, They're yeah, illegal. Yeah, so, Prairie made over $100,000 the time before. They're kicking off people who made the money. So, it's nonsense. Yeah. Put it's back in for people. Personal, whatever. Yeah. You all yeah, like WBA? Put it back. This form no. does. Yeah. They like WBA, I like they apologize for it. I beg of you, change the program director. Change the management. Point of order, Mr. Chair. Point of order. Yes. I move to extend for 20 minutes to finish listener comment. We're, we're over time. We're supposed to adjourn at 9.30. I'm moving to extend to, to finish listener comment for 20 minutes. Okay, is there, there's a motion to extend so that 20 minutes to hear listener comments. Is there any objection to that? Any objection to extending? 
Seeing none, go ahead. Only for public comment. Um, Susan Lee's very heartfelt comments um, um, were incredibly inspiring. I just want to say that Kamau Kalfani is also to be added to that list of uh, fired, and also William Harawag. So I just wanted to, to add them. And the other thing that I wanted to talk about is that the condition of the station, physical condition of the master control, is really, really terrible. For example, there is no phone line except the ISDN lines. And so what that no means... No long distance line is what you mean, right? No long distance. No long distance. Yeah, there's no long distance. And that really impacts on our ability to put um, quality programming on the air. And, and like one of the ISDN lines, it sounds very noisy. So the, it's essential that we get long distance back in master control for, so that they can do the calls normally. During one of our shows, we were constantly hearing the engineer, through no fault of his own, on the air because it bleeds over. So, it, and if we're going to get people to pledge to the station, we need good sound. The other thing is, the speakers are blown out in there. So the the, the and um, anyway, I I just wanted to also say that that the constant emails that. Uh, one of the board members has constantly been sending out over the last few years, I think have really undermined the whole uh, ability of BAI to raise funds. And I think that um, it's really important to try to move beyond all of the um, untrue statements that have been said over email. And I think it's really important to go ahead with this compromise of dual chairs. Um, and finally, on the Gary Null issue, um, 80,000 New Yorkers died of AIDS, and, and, and we need to remember that. And the people of New York that lost them remember that. And the people of New York that have friends that were near death, that, have, that came back from the dead because of the AIDS done. drugs that Gary Null is so opposed to, it's, it's just an outrage and it's an insult to the gay community, it's an insult to the black and Latino communities that are affected with HIV and AIDS. So I urge a recension of Don, all of these program up. changes. Okay, one quick thing about Gary Knoll. I just went to a funeral this weekend for a relative of mine who was much younger than his parents sitting in the audience. Too many of our young people of color are not surviving their parents. Shamefully for the nonsense you hear Gary Knoll, if you believe it, and not talking about true health care. That's shameful. You got hospitals closing, nothing is being said. The shameful other thing is, with, along with this gag rule nonsense, is that we're not being on the, before the demonstration, telling people where to turn out. We're reporting several days later. People's lives are at risk. Education is at risk. On the bannings. Banning is a South African apartheid practice. BAI has no business doing it. And they're doing it just like they do in South Africa. They ban you to your house. They don't tell you why. You just can't have anybody come see you. The security forces are there. Well, down there, they, they lobby the security force. But the shameful thing is that you got people that are here that are progressive that are going along with it. You're all supposed to be on the left, and the shamefully you're all acting like you're far, far on the right. You don't want to talk about WikiLeaks. Yet you want to shut down things here and have a WikiLeaks kind of vote in here. Shame on you. And shame on you that you're even in the classroom teaching that kind of philosophy. Shame. Time's up, so. That didn't sound like two minutes to me. Where's your watch? Right there. Oh, so we got a WikiLeaks watch. Check this out, folks. WikiLeaks vote, WikiLeaks watch, and a WikiLeaks quality in the station. Shame. No more banning. Pass it along to the next person. Listener demand number four, a moratorium on the future removal of any programs without following, 
without following the contractual and mandated consultation with the program council. Before, before program changes can occur. Okay. Before program changes can occur, there must be some discussion of the rationale for the proposed changes. It appears that decisions on which programs were affected in this series of changes are based on two questionable imperatives. One is the incredulous notion that Gary Knoll and Robert Knight will turn around the financial situation by receiving strips of programs. Their new programs have replaced dozens of producers. Another is the use of the Arbitron PPM rating system as a de determinant on how the remainder of the schedule be will be arranged. It has been widely recognized that the Arbitron PPM rating system is racist and has a class bias. Its use guarantees as a basis for determining programming a racist outcome. <laughs> Listener demand number five, management must recognize and respect all union contracts. The LSB chair has falsely and arbitrarily stated on numerous occasions that the unpaid staff organizing committee USOC does not exist. Management has started a producer's guild to replace the recognized union. Management's actions are tantamount to union busting and is the antithesis of what BAI has historically stood for. Yes, I agree wholeheartedly with uh, Henry, Higgins, or Henry Higgins and Ralph Pointer's points. And just to continue, I, the, um, Assembled listeners have demand, demand that we disclose that there be disclosure of any and all monetary relationships and contractual arrangements, agreements between producers and local station board members. WBAI is not a commercial radio station, at least not yet, and we will not see it done so if the listeners have their uh, are allowed to 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 um, see things right. And therefore, there should be no arrangements or contractual arrangements that accrue. To, to monetary benefit to any individual or individuals resulting from their relationship with BAI, certainly without full disclosure. Our next demand is that local station boards develop and present to the community a realistic plan to raise money for the station and to pay its own expenses, not just lip service to such. One of the many new costs draining on the coffers of WBAI in Pacifica is the election, transportation, and the rental of meeting space for local and national boards. The election process alone costs the listeners over a million dollars per election, not to mention the cost of quarterly national board meetings. In order to defray these costs, the local station board must at least pay its own way. All right. Um, to the uh, co-chairs, hello, uh, Mr. Chair, Mr. Co-Chair, um, Mr. Chair, Mr. Co-Chair. Um, I'd like to submit this um, at the end, this nine points uh, to be um, incorporated into the minutes, please. I'm going to cite it for a moment, and then I have something else I want to say. Uh, first uh, point uh, seven, the local station board should develop and present to the community a realistic plan to raise money for the station and to pay its own expenses. For the whole group that's been since 2004 talking about this being a priority, you've been in charge now since the 2007 elections. We're waiting. It's been actually declining at a steep rate since you took over. Eight, develop and present to the listeners a detailed plan with an appropriate time pay table for relocating WBAI out of 120 Wall Street. That is yes. the biggest hole in your budget, and none of you people who are such financial geniuses can figure out how to break a lease. In this market, I've offered now for two years, almost. The BAI Station Board initiated a call for a thorough review of the bylaws and governance structure that has proven itself to be inherently unfair and unworkable. So I'd like to incorporate this into the minutes. And what I'd like to do is communicate to those people that were parties to the Cohen et al. lawsuit against Pacifica and WBAI this piece of information, because you didn't ver sign a verification to the pleadings, so I don't know how thoroughly you read them. But if you read them, you would see that Linda Zeisis and Sidney Smith claimed standing in that lawsuit because they claimed they were members of USOC and the USOC was recognized at that time by Pacifica. Mitchell Cohen swore under oath in his verification that that was true. And that was in 2007. So while we're talking about the history of the relationship between Pacifica and USOC, 
Know that Mitchell Cohen, regardless of what he's been saying out in the world and to this board, swore in court on paper that USOC was recognized by management as late as September of 2007. It's in pa on paper in the court records. It's a verification appended to the complaint. Be careful of the mic, please. Be careful of it. Uh, hello. Uh, something about LFD business. We have to vote to end. Okay, would somebody? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, on the future treasurer's report, uh, they might be a little more helpful if we had some real hard, clear numbers in them, rather than oh, I don't know, maybe this, maybe that. Um, hard numbers. And, and, and if you don't have the numbers in the report, at least have them with you, and so, so you can answer questions. Here, here. Uh, then there's the the. Uh, the debacle of the uh, whatever they call it, management search committee. We've had three or four people on there that uh, all year that did all the work and selected the people that were going to end up with one of them. Uh, they, they we're no longer in their positions. We've discussed this. The LSB has discussed it. It's, uh, it's well, it is disgusting too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, discussed uh, that, and uh, it. Our Paul Martin said. Uh, that they have to, exp they, he, he was worried that they, he on the National Finance Committee would have to explain to the new members of the National Finance Committee uh, what's going on. Uh, so that shows that there are always new members to committees every year. The new, there should be new members this year definitely coming up for that management search committee. It's silly to have people that may have nothing to do with the station, even though if they, maybe they're back again. Um, on these committees. Then the last thing is, and I said this at the CAB meeting recently, where the, I don't think I saw too many of you there, maybe one or two. Uh, the, the, the letter from the Corporation of Public Broadcasting, uh, I think it was R. Paul Martin, also said that we have to raise, he estimated 950000 extra this year, or raise the cumes, I think he calls them, which is based on Arbitron. Is that what you said? You have to raise the, the quarterly cumes. Quarter hour queue, something like that. That's what he said. But these are based on Arbitron. Arbitron's known to be racist. They're known to, uh, you know, there are radio stations and networks that are suing about it. And uh, Pacifica should go back to the good old days. Remember George Carlin? I mean, we ended up with uh, the 730 uh, words or whatever, but we went to court at one time, point because we were left holding a bag. Maybe we should go to court again, WBAI and Pacifica, to get rid of these Arbitrons. My name is uh, Lawrence Ham. I'm the chairman of the People's Organization for Progress. And I've come tonight to say we support the eight demands that have been presented to the WBAI board tonight. Thank you very much. My name is my name is Bokeem Nareri, and uh, I've been away from uh, these LSP meetings, but I'd like to hear what uh, Alex Steinberg and Jamie uh, Ross. Uh, when I was present, uh, y'all were supposed to be the financial geniuses that was going to turn BAI around. Yes. So um, I would like to turn over the mic, if that's all right with everybody else, just to hear <laughs> for two minutes at least to hear from Alex and Jamie the magnificent job that they're supposed to do. Yeah. Now that's really been my question. Run the station to the ground. There should be a demand that y'all ask them to speak to that, you know, because, I mean, they kicked out a program manager and they, delu they um, gave the illusion to a lot of people that, um, you know, that this thing was going to turn around. And uh, I haven't been listening, but I keep hearing y'all begging. I remember y'all said that was about the uh, program manager before, that he was running oh, away. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, running away listeners. Mm -hmm. Steve was reading, so obviously he's not giving up no money. <laughs> All right. I guess, the, I guess the meeting is over, huh? <laughs> Let 
Now the mic gone. Oh, yeah. well, not the wrong. Now it's because I'm weak when you're in. Yeah, the explanation. Teach Monroe, teach. It's not working friendly. Teach. And then I try to get Tony Bates, and they tell me that his box is not functioning now. I don't know what's going on. Hello. My name is Wayne Walker. I'm a listener, subscriber to this WBAI. Cheers to the co-chairs. Hey, Wayne. Hey, what's up? Now listen. WBAI, WBAI is the only voice we have for the left leaners in New York. WBAI cannot or should not follow the path of the regular stations. We tune in to WBAI because of that difference. Now, elections, whether it's federal, state, or city elections, are all corrupt. It hurt me to say that I see WBAI elections go that same route. The election before this are called the election director, manager, or whatever. And they said a set of, vote, a set of ballots went out wrongfully. They never said that they came back or what happened to them, but we had an election, as crazy as that was. We had a repeat in this election with ballots going out early again. Now, if this is the money that we pay to subscribe for this, I want to see the people in charge of these things be fired. Yes. When we come to these forums, we want to see something happening. This is a radical station. Right here, we have the opportunity to prove our radicalities. <laughs> the, the, the rules, Robert rules, this racist, <coughs> racist, <coughs> uh, kind of slipping on one of the FCC don't say words. But why is WBAI, why is Pacifica still following the, the directives of a person like Robert? Learn the history of this guy and dump all his shit out as fast as we could. I want to say we lost a great program producer named Alumbe Breath because of illness and we need to have that program called African Kaleidoscope back on the air. Alumbe is not at his fault because he's ill but the show must go on. We need to have an African Kaleidoscope on the air right now. We lost uh, this broadcast called Taking Aim because of shenanigans with, with the uh, program director. <clears throat> he was not, they were not given the proper due process explaining why they would lose their audience. We lost, at the time we need Taking Aim, they're off the air. We need to have a, a, con a consideration why we don't have the jazz show back on the air because I understand the producer played a recent speech by Tim Wise and next thing I knew, he's off the air. So we need to understand why are these producers being gagged because, or taken off the air if they dare break the rule about bringing up something that is not liked by management. All right, thank you. I'd like you all to know that you will be held accountable. Okay, you're in the majority. What's transpiring is under your watch. And if you don't try to work with us, I'll take measures. There's, there's, uh, what is that? Yes. What will you do? Yeah. Yeah. Well, please, please put right. your I, name I, into it and say who right. you're going to harass. Well, my name is Carl Voller, and I'm going to, if necessary, now the the, uh, the commission. Right? No, it's a it's, there's uh, letters. It's a it's called uh, legal measures. Letters can be written. You are not complying, right? You're out of compliance, and it's under your your watch. You don't want to lose that funding. All right. Yes. Yeah. Right. All right. The Commission for Public Broadcasting. Right. Doing more. <laughs> You're out of compliance by by the uh, I don't know who's signing. Next 
the, the uh, you have to represent minorities more so, and you need to, uh, so that, that's, yeah, I didn't write the letter, you guys got that on your own. We'll get it. Um, Mr. Chair, I think we're out of time. Oh, just one more, very short. I'm very short. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Hey, hello, this is okay. Okay, my name is Gabriel Corrent. I'm a 25 years lis year listener to BAI. And my question is, I would like to know how a watered down program will raise the listenership. Of course we are losing listeners because the water program is watered down. I mean, the only reason for WBI is interesting because we talk yeah. politics. You have to no, talk politics, we talk to history. Mic, no. Okay? The and then and you, you are listening to music. I mean, what is music? Music is, can be anything. Uh, I mean, anybody can listen to music. You have to talk politics, what's happening today. That's what we have to talk about. And if you are putting music instead of politics, you are going to lose more listeners. I mean, that's easy to understand. I am, I don't understand. You see that? Say it over again with the mic on. Thank you. You know, I, I would love... And I'm sure everybody on the board here would love to respond to a lot of these suggestions. That's exactly what I'm saying. But the members of the board are not allowed to address the substance of the statements. So we can't say that. So unless we change that rule. So I'm going to give notice. Right, I'm going to give notice that next, at the next meeting we will revisit that rule. Well... The meeting is over. No, it's no, past the adjournment no, time. It's, it's, it's past the time. We agreed to do it for 20 minutes. It's ended at 9.30. It's now 10 o'clock. No. Make a point of order. A point of order, Nate. A point of order. A, a point of order. Mitch. Mitch. Point of order. A point of order. Look, the, order. the meeting didn't start on time. It doesn't have to end at the stroke of 9.30. Uh, they're, they're still right. Yes, it does because it was in the bar and the agenda. If we don't if we want it to, you change the agenda. John and Mitch, John and Mitch, a point of order. A point of order. The um, the the, the um, you have to choose your officers tonight. So in the December meeting, Mitch, Mitch, you have to choose choose your officers. So you have to choose the officers. The meeting is not adjourned. The meeting is not adjourned. John, 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 keep the meeting open. Let the meeting, we will. You're the not the chair. You're not the only chair. You're not the only chair. And you stand before us. I lost the big chair. Three of them. Another chair. You're not agreeing to adjourn. Okay. The meeting is not adjourned. The meeting is not adjourned. You can go home. What about the other officers? What about the other officers? You're a quarter. You have a quarter. We have the quarter. We have the quarter. We have quarter. No. Okay. 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 So that we can work together here. Right, last one here, please put the tables away and the chairs. Thank you. No, the meeting is not adjourned. Yeah. What a low light thing to do. Continue the meeting, Chair. Mitch, I ask you. John, John. Mitch, John. Continue the meeting. Mitch, John. Mitch, 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 John. 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 Mitch, you're the chair, so go right ahead. Take over this chair. Can I get your attention for a minute? Can I get your attention for a minute? James. 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 Can I get your attention for a minute? Hello? Can I get your attention for a minute? I think that you, you, I'm glad that so many of you came out this evening so that you can see how these people behave. Exactly. When they don't get their way, and we see how you they figure out. Yes. Yes. You were leaving, weren't you? 
and when, when they don't get their way, they come up with some other way of avoiding uh, fronting, uh, fronting honesty. So they uh, are Paul. So, so you have to uh, you have to keep coming out. And pay close attention to what these people are doing. Yeah, so they are destroying the radio station. The programs the radio that they put together cannot possibly pay close work. Attention. It will not work. Always pay close attention. So therefore, it's up to you to continue to be vigilant and make sure that these folks are, are, aren't around here much longer because they're in the process of destroying this radio station. You're the one trying to destroy the radio station. Boo! Boo! Then let them go. We've got a war. There is a war. We can continue. If they want to leave, let them leave. We have a war. We have business. We have security cards. Except the bylaws work when they're in your favor. You're, you're in violation of the bylaws. They say they require four. He's the fucking person that pays your way, motherfucker. Let's go. What the fuck are you talking about? We have people that pay for everything.
Well, then you need to make a motion. I did make a motion. I made a motion to extend by 30 You go home. Well, then it's over. time. I made a motion. 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 I have made a motion 20 minutes ago to extend my 30 minutes. So. I will. Yeah, I say that. That's my special yeah, but you want to take a vote? Vote. Let's vote. Vote. Go ahead. Vote. Okay. Can you care? John? Or you want to vote. Or you want to vote. John, call a vote. It says, Russell said that there was a motion that he made that I didn't hear. No, you're not the only chair, Mitch. Well, John apparently you did. No, you, you, you already did it because they sent him right to you. I heard it in the middle. You, you enjoy you making these things about? up, Mitch. My, my motion is to extend the, the, the meeting by 30 minutes. Does somebody second? Okay, all in favor of extending the meeting. Another 20 minutes to resolve 30 the minutes. voting on the 30 minutes was the motion. So uh, raise your hand. Takes two thirds. Two thirds. <laughs> 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 Is Roll call vote. Roll call vote. Roll call vote. Come on. So where's the board secretary? All opposed, raise your hand. No, 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 no. Wait. I'm, I'm asking for a roll call vote. Hey, the motion no, 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 failed. The motion failed. The motion failed. The motion failed. I call for a roll call vote. I call for a roll call vote. I call for a roll call vote. So, in what language? In English. It's not only just bad, but they're showing off. They're showing off for Bernard White, and also they got a lucky, they got a lucky advantage. They, you know, they have, you know, well, it's only been a waste of time. But we need your vote, you know. Oh come on! No, no, no! Hold on! 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 Somebody go with you. I don't want you to get diverted. No, he's not wrong. No, he's not wrong. No, he's not wrong. So you stay there. I'm going to be. Stay the night? I'm going to stay the night? What? Not only today. There was a. Uh, Hello? Takes a two thirds vote to extend the meeting. But you don't care about Robert's rules, right? I'm just waiting to see how it goes. I'm not either. Did you record anything? Well, thanks for coming. It's good that everybody should say what they believe. Just you just talk like this. That's not, that's your genius. Where's Susan Lee go? She's over down that down that down that the other end of the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
We can go now. There was a. Uh, Yeah, there was a vote to uh, extend time and it failed. That's a two-thirds vote, right? That requires two-thirds to extend time? Bye, yeah. John. All right. You know, I hope you guys know what to do. What should I take? I don't even know what to take. So many things to take. I had a little interview with John Ryland. I asked him if he's staying all night. And he said he's staying. He's going to stay to see what happens.
Ja, ja. 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 Ja,
capitalist America, this, this property belongs to someone. <laughs> All right, there's a chair here. Let's get it going. You voted him in, maybe he doesn't want to be chair. Okay, go get him. Let's get on. Watch out. Um, so what if, what if, what if she cuts, if they were to cut any more staff hours, you they would have to quit because they couldn't Nick pay their rent. Well, that's and that's she that's must that's know that's about that. Well, she's standing here right now. Hello? 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 All right, let's get it on with it. We're here waiting. Nobody wants to go home. So let's have our meeting. Are you going to have a separate meeting? We're here. Do the election. <laughs> now I have to do it all your life. Be Okay, let's be quiet. Quiet. Excuse me. Take it outside if you Take it outside your conversation, please. We want to go home. Take it outside. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't think whatever I say I Just like you did. Just like you did. What do you want to do? shut the video and get lost. Now leave for having a seat. Please interrupt in the meeting.